simplify this rational expression. Now this one is a little bit different than all the other ones we've seen, because when you look at the numerator, it's not really in order, is it? No, we want to put that y squared first. And if you do it like that, it makes it a little bit easier when you cancel. So let's, let's put it in order. Okay, my y squared will go first, but remember it is a negative y squared. So this is going to be negative y squared. And then what kind of 49 do I have? Is it positive or negative? Well, it's going to be positive. So this is negative y squared plus 49. Okay, I'm just putting that in order. The denominator's fine, y minus 7. Now, when I go to factor the numerator, if it starts with a negative, I need to factor out that negative, okay, like a GCF. When you factor out the negative 1, now both of these signs will change, okay? I'm dividing both of these by a negative. So I'm going to have y squared minus 49. Okay, the denominator is the same. It just keeps tagging along. Okay, now look at that numerator. This is the difference of two squares. So, negative 1 times the difference of two squares. Okay, the first two need to give me y squared, so it's going to be y and y. And the last two need to give me 49. So what two numbers multiply to give me 49? 7. Yep, 7 and 7. So I will have a plus 7, minus 7. Man, they really like the difference of two square problems. Now, see anything that cancels out? Sure. y minus 7 and y minus 7. The whole binomial cancels out. So I'm going to be left with negative 1 times y plus 7. Now, do I need to put over 1? No, I don't. So this is my answer. Okay, You don't need to distribute. When you simplify a rational expression, you leave it factored.